Hey guys, Megan T's Please here. Today we're going to be doing a nighttime routine video. You guys really seem to like my get ready with me videos, so I'm going to show you everything I do right before I go to bed. So the first thing I like to do is throw my hair up because it's long and it gets wet and it's in my face and I hate it, so I'm going to throw my hair up. So I'm going to walk you through the three different types of cleansers I use. I don't use them all at the same time, it just depends on what my face needs. So I recently bought this one. You probably remember this from my Portland vlog. I told you guys I would let you know how, what I thought of it. It's been like a month-ish now. I haven't really noticed a difference. I'm going to be honest with you. This one is like any other cleanser. And then this one I absolutely love. It is a tea tree like scrubbing treatment. So there's little beads in here. They're not plastic beads because I know plastic beads are really, really bad for your face. I don't actually know what this is. Sand or something? I, I honestly have no idea. But this cleanser is one of my favorites. It's a deep clean. The one I use most frequently is is this tea tree skin clearing facial wash I love this product I got a tester bottle that was like this big went through all of that and now I'm on to this guy I've had this for probably a year now and it lasts so long it is so good I love this bottle I might have not had it for a full year but it feels like it so I absolutely love this cleanser the first thing I do is get my face wet so I'm gonna do that. I just kind of um, get my hands wet and tap my face everywhere to get it wet. I don't use a cloth to get it wet yet. I know there's a lot of debate about using washcloths and like rubbing your face, how that's bad. I personally don't care that much, it's whatever, but I am gonna use this guy because I feel like my face is a little oily today and yesterday I went with a big deep clean so I don't want to overdo it by using this scrub and apparently, I don't know, this guy is for oily to combination skin which is definitely what I have but I feel like using this guy. I feel like my face, uh, wants this one i don't know i just kind of like use my intuitive gut or something <laughs> i just kind of do whatever so i put it everywhere and i don't really work it up to a lather and you'll see why in a second i even go down to my neck because i get hormonal acne right up in here thank you for being old that's what happens when you get older like you honestly think you're like oh i'm done with acne this is great i'm in my 20s no honey wait for that hormonal acne to kick in and you'll see it all in here and all in your neck and it's it's great. It's so great. It's not it's not really great. It's awful. It's so awful. But I absolutely love this product. It is the Vanity Planet like brushy whatever. I don't even know. I'm going to be honest with you. I saw it in another YouTuber's video. I don't know who it was. It was some random girl that I found. I love skincare routine videos. I don't know what my deal is, but I love them. So she showed a ton of before and after pictures of her having all those different acne and all these different problems and why she got this vanity planet kit and i'm a sucker i'm totally a sucker i'm gonna be honest with you so i went ahead and got that vanity planet kit as well um but let me explain what all these different brushes so this is the doohickey that it comes with there's this brush which i'm going to use today it's a very very soft bristle brush this is an exfoliator brush so all these little black bristles are very rough but like when you touch it with your hand it's not rough at all but like when it's spinning on your face you can really feel it like picking up all that dead skin and then i used that yesterday so that's why i'm not going to use it today and then there's this guy it's like a little rubber rubber silicone one i haven't really used this one i used it maybe a couple times i really like this head so yeah i think uh the girl that wa i watched the video she uses this one in the morning but i'm gonna be real with you guys i don't wash my face in the morning i just kind of feel like it's good or something unless unless i do an oil whatever's on my skin and go to sleep and like an oil mask 
then I might wash my face in the morning if I wake up and I'm like feeling super oily and it's just not gonna be a good look for my makeup. But anyways, I'm gonna use this guy. So it's the like normal, really soft bristle brush. I like to get it wet first and then I make sure my hair is tucked back because it will grab your hair if it hurts. It hurts so bad. So uh, I'm just, I put it to my skin and then I turn it on. The first mode is like really slow and it feels nice. The second mode is like high, like a higher spin rate. And I just kind of go all over my face. And this usually works it up to a lather. Sometimes it doesn't, but I'm not really trying to get a lather. I don't really care that much. I'm just kind of like, let me clean my face. So I go all over my neck and I go in like a circular motion as well to complement the already circular motion that it's going in. I don't really know if it matters. There, the instruction booklet didn't really say if it mattered or not, so this is what I do personally. But yeah, so I go all over, make sure I get my neck. And I have found that this brush is really, really good at clearing up your makeup. Even though you think that you got it all with a wipe or you think that you got it all uh, with a washcloth, trust me, you did it. Like this thing really, really picks up all the dirt, which is awesome. Okay, so now that it's all leathered up and on my face, I take a washcloth now and get it wet. I'm not looking to like scrub my face. I'm just looking to wash it off. Now I could like, use water and like wash it off like that but you know what like that's messy like I don't know about you but every time I use uh, water in my hands and like like push it on my face it like runs down my elbows and I don't like that so I like to do a more efficient way I think and I use a washcloth and I just kind of wipe the excess product I don't know what you call this stuff like stuff <laughs> acne stuff. I just kind of wash it off my face or like wipe it off with a wet washcloth and then call it a day. Now I don't use a towel to dry my skin. While my skin is drying I like to brush my teeth so I'm kind of being efficient and I just feel as if putting a towel on your clean face is like doing the opposite of what is good because towels hold on to a lot of dirt and grossness and like I'm good. I'm super good on that. I don't want to be doing laundry all the time by getting a new towel every single day. Like, no. So I'm just going to brush my teeth and my face will be dry by the time it is done. So I'm going to use my Sonicare Philips like uh, I don't know what I don't know what model number this is but I highly 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 recommend a Sonicare toothbrush I promise it is not one of those hype things that you don't really need trust me a Sonicare toothbrush has changed my life I thought my teeth were clean and then I use a Sonicare and I'm like whoa it feels like I just went to the dentist and I love going to the dentist so this is awesome. I absolutely love this product. I couldn't recommend it more. It is 100% worth the money. They have a, so this brush I think was like $120, but I know, I know. They have a like starter brush that's like $20 or $30. So see if you like it and then upgrade your bad boy if you do because I absolutely love it. I also use this All One Toothpaste Peppermint by Dr. Bonner. Uh, I think it's okay. It's a very okay toothpaste. I'm just kind of waiting for it to be done because I don't really like it, but it was expensive, so I'm just kind of using it to find something else that I like. So what I do and what I like about this toothbrush, it's a two minute timer inside of the brush and it beeps every 30 seconds so you get to work on each quadrant of your mouth for 30 seconds so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm gonna fast forward this whole shebang and i will see you in two minutes Thing I do is put on a mask. 
I'm gonna do a combination of two different masks today because I feel like my skin is doing some crazy stuff. So right in here and right here, I get really, really oily, but right here and right here, I get really, really dry. So I'm going to use, and I promise this is not sponsored video. I just really love the body shop. So I'm gonna use this mask. I just got it from the body shop. It's an Ethiopian honey mask. It's deep, nourishing, and it's just gonna like put back a bunch of nutrients and moisture into my face. The second mask I'm gonna do, and this one is really, really cool. So this is the Himalayan charcoal mask, and this guy, when you put it on your face, you let it sit for like five or 10 minutes, and then all the oil gets drawn out of your pores, and you can see it. It's weird, I'll show you guys. It's cool, it's weird, and I love it. So I'm gonna do a combination of these two masks. Okay, so let me explain what this is doing. So the Himalayan charcoal mask has tea tree oil in it as well, so it's really tingly and cooling almost. I don't know how to describe it. But so all these little weird dots, I'll get a little closer, all these little weird whatevers, that's tea tree leaves. And so they're like putting nourishment into my skin as well as helping fight oil and the charcoal is doing something I don't really know. And then you can't really see it, but all throughout here is like a thin, like pinkish, yellowish layer. I don't know how to describe it, but it's a, a layer all around here and that is just pushing moisture and nutrients into my skin because it's been a little dry in this area. So I'll show you more of the oil, like pulling out the oil effect when this dries because this has to dry and then it gets weird it gets super weird and i absolutely love it so while this is doing its thing it has to sit on my face for like five to ten minutes we'll see how i feel i like to floss my teeth i like these little floss picks because they're really really easy to use so i just go i start on the bottom go all the way around and then go on to the top and then you can rinse off if you find any gook on there so i'm gonna go ahead and floss you guys know how to floss i don't need to teach you how to floss so i'll meet you back here when i am done Okay, so the next thing I do is actually a very, very new thing into my routine. I don't know if I'll keep it in my routine or if I'll switch out the time of day that I do it, but I'm getting older and I think, I may just be crazy because I'm getting older and I'm thinking about like a lot of things, but I feel as if I am experiencing a little bit of hair loss. And I think that's because my brush after like two weeks is like, full of hair and in the shower like I'm losing like I feel like it's a lot of hair and when I blow dry my hair I feel like I'm losing a lot of hair. I'm not losing hair throughout the day it's only when I'm like doing things to it. So again this could be incredibly normal and I'm just probably being paranoid and overthinking it but I got a hair thickening serum uh, from Aveda which is also a vegan a cruelty free company all of the products I use are cruelty free and like mostly vegan the mask that I put on on my chin is technically not vegan because it's a honey mask but I think honey is fine as long as it's taken from a source that is okay and the bees aren't being harmed then in my opinion honey is a-okay so I started using the Aveda in in body in, in baby in body I don't know how to say that. It's the Inveda Invadi or Invadi Advanced um, Solutions for Thinning Hair. Again, I don't even know if this works, but how this works is I take my hair down 
and I'm supposed to spray this little pump directly onto my scalp all over and then like massage it into my scalp. I'm trying to do this at night because my hair looks a little wet from it and I 100% don't know if my hair will look oily because of this stuff. So this is why I've started using it at night and it says to use it every single day but like I'm gonna be real with you guys. I feel like that's just to make me use more product and make me have to buy more because it's not cheap. This is not a cheap thing. This with the shampoo and conditioner was like $150. So yeah, it's, 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 it's expensive for sure. Okay, so I have no idea if it's working or how long it takes to see results. So I'll let you know how I feel about this product in a couple of weeks. I'll probably do it in a vlog. It smells like turmeric and it kind of tingles the scalp a little bit. I don't know if the tingling is because there's seaweed in there and so it's like a cooling effect or if maybe I'm like allergic to it or something. Like, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna throw my hair back up and then wash this mask off my face. But before I do that, I'm gonna show you all the little stuff I was talking about that this charcoal mask was gonna do. So you can see, you see all of these little like dots? That's oil getting drawn from my skin. It is crazy. Like look at all on my nose, like all these little dots all in here. I had a lot of oil up in here because it basically looks see-through. Uh, you can see it in here and then a little bit on my forehead. Like this mask is awesome. I really, really like it. It has like a gritty, charcoaly, sandy material in it. So it's definitely more of an exfoliating mask. I exfoliated yesterday, so my skin might be a little bit irritated today, but I'm not like rubbing it in. I just kind of like slapped it on. The tea tree mask is kind of a pain in the butt to get rid of. So as I wet it, it just kind of like redoes its goopiness and I have to like move it a couple times to like really get it off my face. I'm not pushing really hard and I'm not like exfoliating it in. I'm just wiping it off. super clean, washed, exfoliated, moisturized, the whole shebang, I put on more product. So I recently got in Portland this oil that the like clerk person recommended. I love this product. So I had a little bit of their old product it is this one. Uh, you can see that I've pretty much used almost all of it. There's only a little bit left. I actually went to go replenish this bottle when they recommended this bottle and I love it. So what I like to do is put two little droppers, so one, two, into my hand and then rub it all over my face. You're probably like, Girl, you just took all this stuff to get oil off your face. Why are you putting it back on your face? It's different. I don't know how to describe or like, I'm not uh, like licensed. I don't really know. I'm not like the person to tell you why I put it back on my face because I don't know the science behind it. If any of you guys know the science behind it, please go ahead and write it in the comments down below because I don't at all. But this stuff is so, so, so hydrating. And so I just kind of like pat it really smoothly onto my skin. I put it everywhere, even on my neck, but I start on my cheeks and then move to my forehead and like work my way down. I know that this product is working because when I first got it, I would have to use four drops of oil for it to even soak into all my skin because of how dry it was. 
Um, but now I only have to use two drops and I can get all of my base with just two drops. So that's how you know that it's working because I don't have to use as much of the product and I love it. It smells very earthy and I really like that. Yeah, it's just a really, really good product. I recommend this for anyone who has dry skin and you're gonna think I'm crazy, but it's also helped with my acne. And while you're like, you're putting oil on your face to help with your acne, again, I don't know the science behind it, but it is absolutely incredible. I highly recommend this product. It is Oils of Life Intensely Revitalizing Facial Oil. This is one of my holy grail products. I love this product. And then the second thing that I've been doing, I don't really know if I've noticed a difference. Every other product, I have definitely noticed a difference, but I don't use this often enough. I probably use it a few times a week versus every day because I forget, to be honest. I use this Drops of Youth like eye mask cream. You saw this in my Get Ready With Me video. It's a day and a night cream, so I think that this cream is just incredible. It really, really makes my skin feel moisturized. But as far as reducing fine lines or wrinkles, I don't know if it's doing that, but it makes my under eyelids feel really, really moisturized, which uh, I don't know if that's like a problem. I don't know if they should be moisturized, <laughs> but I really like how my skin feels when it is on. So that's why I like to use it. It definitely moisturizes the eye area and maybe that's why people get wrinkles because their eyes aren't moisturized. Again, I'm not a scientist. I don't know how this stuff works. I just use it because I'm a sucker. And then the absolute last thing I do, I, it's not another product, I promise. Well, I guess it's kind of a product in its own way, but I know we've done a lot of things today. I have Invisalign, so when I was in middle school, seventh grade, or maybe it was summer of sixth grade, I don't really remember, I had to get braces. I got them off the beginning or end of freshman year of high school, and I didn't mind having braces. It was just kind of like whatever, but then I had to get a retainer to wear afterwards, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I never wear my retainer, like ever. It physically hurt me because I had like prongs sticking out of the front of it because the orthodontist had said he's never seen a case where my front teeth like move and get really weird, so he had to like craft this like special retainer just for me with these weird prongs in it in hopes to keep my front teeth forward and not have them get all mangled push it back i never wore it uh my smile mostly stuck until i think i was like 24 no 25 i was 25 when i decided that like right in here was getting kind of weird and right in here no one noticed it except for me. You know how we're, you're, we are our own worst critics? I noticed it and it made me upset. So I decided to get Invisalign as an adult. So I 100% recommend Invisalign. I only had to be in it for seven months because again, my teeth really weren't that bad. So I think I had like 20 trays or something like that. And every two weeks I got a new tray. And so this isn't technically an Invisalign tray because I'm done with my Invisalign. This is their Vivira night retainer because I grind my teeth at night. So the last thing I do before I go to bed is pop in my Vivira nighttime retainer. I am not going to be popping that in because I talk weird when it's in and I'm filming a video. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know if you wear a retainer at night, you are not alone. I too wear a retainer at night and it is a forever retainer. I'm going to be in a retainer for the rest of my life, which is okay. I don't mind it. And that, my friends, is my entire nighttime routine. When I'm not filming a video, the whole thing probably takes anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes. I know it's a lot, but I have acne prone skin, so I do a lot to make sure that I don't have any acne. I also am starting to get hormonal acne. Thank you, getting older, not really. It definitely sucks, so right in here I'll have acne. 
I have a ton of acne scars right in here because I just never did anything about it. So all these products have truly, truly diminished the look and appearance of my acne and makes my skin very, very smooth. In real life, I get compliments on my skin a lot. So I know something, one of these products is working. I don't know which one, but I absolutely love all the products. I'm gonna try to link as many of them as I can in the description down below. I promise you this is not a sponsorship. This is not an ad. I just truly love all of these products. And if you have acne skin as well, uh, I recommend every single one of them. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me during my nighttime routine video. If you like this video, let me know in the comments down below. You can also follow me on social media. I have a Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. I will put those links in the description down below as well. All right guys, goodbye. Okay, if you're still here, last time I asked you what your favorite candy bar is. Now, I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't eat a lot of candy, but I really love Junior Mints. That candy is actually vegan, and it is delicious. I love Junior Mints. I love the dark chocolate and the minty flavor combined. This week, there is no question because I had to do some pre-recordings for next week and I didn't know what video was gonna come out first, so I just decided, you know what, no questions this week. But let me know in the comments if you do like these questions at the end of the videos because I'll keep doing them. If you don't like them, please let me know as well. Let me know both, I wanna know both. But anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time, bye.